Hello YouTube, this is Reno Dan. Sorry I haven't posted in a while. I've been pretty busy with post race and going to the gym and trying to reset. This last weekend was fun, but it was also really hard. So this is my practice session. And what made it really hard was there was a guy and his father out there just berating me. And the thing is about this, about advice, one, half the time it's unsolicited like I didn't ask for it they just came up and started talking to me like they know my journey like they know what I've been through like they know where I was and you tell them that just a couple months ago I was doing this same layout like 56s or a minute and they're like I don't care even though if I drop 12 or 15 seconds off my lap time they don't care you know what I mean they only see what you're doing today and I knew better and this is where, for you new writers out there, if you get told by somebody some advice and it's unsolicited, just let it go. Even if it's good advice, because you don't know. You know what I mean? And I'm not trying to tell you not to listen to somebody, but the bottom line is, this pretty much set the pace for my whole race weekend. It got me in my head. It slowed me down. Even though I felt like I was going faster, I sort of end up charging the turns, which I'll make another video later this week or next week talking about how I was actually going slower even though it felt like I was going faster. And this is where I screwed up personally. I should have steeled myself internally and put on my titanium armor and told the guy to go shut the hell up. You know what I mean? But the nice guy was, I didn't. But that's not the point. The point is, is this, you're gonna get bad advice. People are gonna tell you things and even, even if it's from good intentions, they don't know who you are. They don't know where your writing background's from. They don't know what you can or not do. And they don't know how far you progressed. They don't know where you came from. You know what I mean? And the hardest thing about this whole thing was is that his son has been racing for eight years. And my fastest lap time of the day was like a 44 or 45. His is fastest lap time of the day was a 41. So the guy was out there for eight years and he only was doing like three to four seconds faster than me. And his dad was just berating me and beating the piss out of me emotionally and physically, you know, not physically, emotionally, I'm bigger than everybody on the track. It doesn't change the fact though that I put up with it and I allowed them to do this to me. And inadvertently, I became a victim of getting into my own head. That's what made this video, that's why I had to make this video it's not about me out there ripping and doing good or having a good time because I wasn't. I was in the six inches between my ears thinking about every little thing I was doing wrong instead of being who I am and out there being a rhino and, and having fun. And that's the point. So when you're out there and you're, counter, you're corner carving and you're out there having fun and some writer comes up and starts talking to you, maybe you should evaluate and say, hey, I appreciate the advice, but, you know, no thanks and I'm gonna have to do the same thing next time I don't talk to other racers in the pits I don't give other racers advice I don't tell them what they're doing right or what they're doing wrong again I don't know what they can or cannot do I don't know where they came from or their own progression as themselves as being writers and if I make advice videos is because you're gonna take it for what it is and try it or not but it's one of those things and even then that might be coming to an end I don't know my name is Roy Dan you guys have a nice day. Thank you very much.